Hey guys, it's Roshan, and today I'm showing you a review on the HTC One M8. So, I um, today is I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but today is February nineteenth, Wednesday, of two thousand fourteen, and it's this phone is not out yet. I get the phones released earlier because I'm sponsored. But here, so this is the HTC One, the regular HTC One. I'm just gonna cover those up, and that's how it looks. One camera flash. That's how it looks. The top, and I feel like this is screwing the camera up here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, I have other stuff there, and that's reviews. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the HTC One M8 now. So this is the HTC One M8. Put them by side by side, and there you go. Let's cover that too. Oh, God, cover that. They look similar in design, except at the top. That's the top, and you can see this top. They have one, two cameras, and the flash is different. Oh, what did I just do? And then you can see there's one, the sensor has moved, and then there's a speaker still there, and then the buttons down here are not there anymore, that are down here, they're gone, they are not on screen. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is how it looks here. So here's blink feed. It's not focusing on it here. Blink feed. Right now, I am actually moving items because I want to move them. And yeah, okay. So this actually has an SD card slot right there. People would think that's the SIM card because on this phone it's there, but no, the SIM card's right there. It's nano SIM, I believe. I don't know. Okay. So, it's really smooth. Oh, I didn't even know that. Well, it's running since 6. What's happening guys? Gioni has just launched the E7 into their eLife series globally. This is the world's first phone with a 16 megapixel 1 over 2 by 3 inch sensor which has a 1.34 micron pixel size. Now that is larger than the 1.2 micron pixel size seen on most cameras with a 13 megapixel sensor including the Samsung Galaxy S4. The device also has a front facing 8 megapixel camera which does have a 1.4 micron pixel size as well. The front of the device has a 5.5 inch full HD display which also has Gorilla Glass 3. The device is a unibody device and has no extendable memory or a removable battery. Incidentally, the battery on the device is 2500 mAh but the company claims that the device has been optimized with the new chipset and the battery to last much longer than many other devices. Now at the core of the Gioni eLife E7 is the Snapdragon 800 chipset. The E7 is going to be available in three variants. The cheapest one which will come with the Snapdragon 800-8974 chipset at 2.2GHz on quad cores will be 3G enabled, will have 2GB of RAM and 16GB of non-expandable storage. The second variant or the middle variant will also have the 8974 chipset at 2.2GHz along with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. This one is priced at 
3199 RMB or roughly 32,000 rupees is what the price in India is going to be claims Jioni. The most expensive version is priced at RMB 3499. It comes with the Snapdragon 800-8974 AC chipset which is LT 